George Weiner. Here. Ed Luttrell. Jamie Bowman. Here. Frank Roth. Here. And Sean Zer Zerwig, the aldermanic liaison. Gentlemen, we have a quorum. We have a quorum, all right. Uh, item three, approval of the agenda for May 20th, 2013. Is there a motion to approve the agenda? So moved. We have a motion. Do we have a second? Yes, sir. We have a second. All in favor say aye. Aye. Any opposed? Motion carries. Item four, approval of the minutes for the April 15th, 2013 meeting. Has everyone had a chance to review the minutes? Is there a motion on the minutes? So moved. Motion. Do we have a second? Not second. We have a second. Uh, all in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion carries. Now we move on to commission business. First, the action items. First action item is uh, application number 12-1119C, a request to retain a metal 8 by 12 foot utility building in the rear yard at 627 Market Street in a house built circa 1910. Uh, this was an item that was tabled from the November 19th, 2012 meeting. Is there anybody in the audience on this item? Um, Chairman, um, Ms. Aikens asked if I could present it for her. Okay, sounds fine. Um, as I reported last month, um, she stated that she'd like to put some um, lattice work in front of the shed and grow, um, actually it's more than glory, she said she's going to mm -hmm. put it there. And she will set the, the uh, shed back about two to three feet. And I confirmed that with her again, and that's still her plans to do that. Um, uh, as a side note, you know, they've had some issues with the water runoff there. Um, and one of their concerns was moving it further back or behind the house. Um, with all the rain we've had, um, they've said with the way the, the problems they've had of the storm water, everything which is in the shed, which there's musical instruments, would have been wet. So at the present location, it did not been wet. Okay. They just wanted to, to point that out. No, I didn't understand the last part you said. The present location of what? It did not get wet. Oh, so it's already been moved? Excuse me? You're saying it's already been moved back? It has not been moved back. Um, what I'm referring to is back in November, um, it was suggested that it be moved further behind the house, mm -hmm. closer to the other shed. Um, and, and they maintain that because of the stormwater runoff from the back of their house, uh, it would not keep dry. But now moving back won't endanger it either. No, it's not going to move back. That way. And it's it's pretty flat yeah. in that area that it's at now. Okay. Is there any other discussion? Yes. I'm a little bit confused. At just a minor point, but mm -hmm. I think I've heard you say this before. And you just said it now. The lattice with vegetation in front. Right. But then we have this, which seems to frame the facade. Right. And. Um, I clarified that with, with them again, and it will not go over the door, just be on the sides. So the doors will be exposed? Yes, the door will be exposed. Well, I certainly want to commend them for their willingness to work on it. Is there, is there I make a motion to approve. Motion to approve, is there a second? I second. We have time and second, so I guess pick one. Uh, all in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion carries. Next item is uh, item number 13-0415B, request to construct an accessory building in the rear yard of 349 Washington Street, uh, circa 1870. This is an item that was, a, that was tabled from the April 15th, 2013 meeting. Is there anyone in the audience on this? Item. He said he was coming. Okay. Uh, Friday. All right. Shall we do another item? We can come back to this item, or do you think we'll do that? Yeah. Go through everything else, and if he comes in, we'll do it. Okay. Fine and dandy. Uh, let's go on to old business then. Uh, update on the National Historic Preservation Month projects. Um, hope everyone's noticed that the articles in the paper and on uh, sometimesnews.com mm -hmm. and the pictures. Um, 
Paul's going to pass around the, uh, the entry form. Uh, can be um, downloaded online from Sometimes News, and it's been in the paper the last two weeks. It'll be in the paper every week that we were running with the pictures. Um, and it seems to be, I don't know how many people have actually picked up a, a form, but uh, I would encourage everybody to advertise it. I've mentioned it to the kids at school. I think it's a great campaign. Yeah, I think it's a great idea. Does anybody uh, recognize any of the oh, yes. oh, yeah. I know some people think they do. <laughs> it doesn't, take, doesn't take long to go confirm it. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Okay, next up is discussion of the upcoming window preservation and maintenance workshop with John Leak, slated for June 20th to 22nd. Right. Um, this is the, the draft of the registration form. I think I sent that out to everybody. Um, John Leak's been, apparently has been ill the last uh, couple of months, and he just got me back his comments, so we're going to change it up just a little bit. It's basically the same thing. But... Um, it will be $75 a person to um, participate in the full uh, hands-on workshop. Um, for the commission, the first day um, in the morning, there will be a private, uh, like I said, workshop seminar uh, with landmarks in Mr. League. Um, that will be free, but if you would like to stay for, for a luncheon, we're going to have a, a nicer luncheon than the everyday luncheons. Um, that will cost everybody $15 to cover the cost of that. Um, we will also get copies of his, his window book and other materials he'll be bringing with him. Where's this going to take place at? I'm sorry? Where's it going to be at? Um, well, we've been working with the mayor um, to have it at the Built Best building. Oh, really? Um, I don't know what, what the status is on that purchase. Need a building that low. Yes, but they were already set up for windows, and um, they had the counters and equipment and stuff in there already. It seemed like a logical choice. Mr. Lick's been uh, talking with the mayor about it. Need some old windows for you, do? Hmm? Mm -hmm. Does he need some? Yeah, do you have some old windows? We could take them out. <laughs> 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 Actually, he said if, if anybody's coming, or whoever's coming, if they do have some windows that they would like to have repaired, they'll bring them. And we'll use them. Get them back. Yes, he'll put them <laughs> <laughs> And the, uh, all the mater other materials, other than the windows we bring, will be supplied. So you don't have to bring anything except maybe water or whatever you need to Okay, next up is uh, citizen input. Is there anyone in the audience who would like to address the commission? Nope. Um, Mr. And Mrs. Mr. and Mrs. Rogers are in the um, audience. Um, they would like to replace the porch that was on the back of 299 North 4th. Okay. Um, and they're putting it back uh, with, with cedar. It's, it's a wood porch that's basically the same design as what was there, except the, the steps are directed in another direction. Um, is this something that you would like to see an application on, or is this going to be com uh, considered repair and maintenance? Which house is doing on there? It's on the corner. It's the green side of the house. Corner of 4th and LeCompte, is that correct? Mm -hmm. Yes. Oh, the one where we're they worked on before people did it. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yes. Yeah, it's not on the front. I think it's no, it's in the back. It's in the rear. I think it's maintenance. I think so. I agree. Okay. Yeah, you agree? Yeah, I not only agree, I think we came to that conclusion once before. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, because didn't somebody else move in there for a while? Mm-hmm. They had a temporary porch. Okay. Yeah. Okay. This won't be temporary, though. It'll, this it's meant to stay on the house. Sounds good. Okay. You have your answer. Thank you. <laughs> You're okay. Uh, is there any other business? Brenda, oh, oh, go ahead. What was that uh, email on St. Genevieve Main Street getting the waters of Cool Street or Cool Street? Did you see that? Mm -hmm. well, who did that? I couldn't tell you right now. It's, um, it's an organization, it's a not for profit out of DC. Mm -hmm. 
Um, it's, it focuses on what, small cities? town main, main streets. Yeah. Is it favorite that, cities? No, 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 no. Oh, you're talking about 10 one. Coolest? That was, that was Frommer's Travel Magazine. Okay. This was just last week, focusing mm -hmm. on, I think they do one town a week or one town a month, uh, favorite Main Street. And it's a website. It's mm -hmm. prominently featured on their first page, St. Jen Main Street. And where is that? D.C. what? Washington, D.C. I will Another thing I'd like to offer you is that there was a video done on the Tour de St. Genevieve, yeah. the, the bicycle race. If you haven't seen it, it's it really does show the city well. Did the WSIU video? Yeah. Uh, the Valley University. Yeah. And while we can't, we, they won't give us copies for distribution because they own it. Uh, I think we can forward an email to the mm. division members. I think it might be on YouTube. I haven't seen it. I'll forward it to you. From the bicycle race a couple of years ago? Yeah. It was actually last year. Last year. Oh, it was last year? Yeah. And they, they spend a lot of time talking about race preparation, and you know, and, and, but gosh, there were some great shots in the city. And, and, and they, they uh, just gushed about the community and the volunteers and how you know, much support they got. And I'm just like, gee, I want to go there. <laughs> That's good. Okay, should we? Uh, um, does Warren? Did he know he needed to come back for this? Or mm -hmm. okay. Yeah. Um, one other thing. Um, everybody's read the paper. You know that um, the Lalaman Deer House and John Carroll won the uh, one of the Missouri, Preserve Missouri awards. Um, from uh, the state. Um, he had three awards and he um, felt that the city deserved one of them, so he generously um, gave one of them to the city for us to hang up. So, this is from the state representative. And I went to the award and I found comments that were made not by him certainly supported by him, but by some of the people that were there who knew him and wanted to support him. About how pleased they were that the city was so supportive of his efforts, as though there was a time when that didn't happen. Uh, I can't imagine the city not supporting efforts like that. But uh, the, the kind of this sense of cooperation that is here today on projects such as that, that, that those who've been around for a while since, and wanted to comment about, which I think is a testament to Brenda, to the Board of Aldermen, and to all, all involved. All right, thank you. Uh, so, should we try and call Warren, or just, because we're, we're only 12 minutes after, so I can keep talking. You can. I would like to introduce in the audience uh, Ed and Lauren Moore. If, in case you haven't met them yet or don't know who they are, they purchased the, the Bernier House, 807 Market Street. But that's why you've been hanging out here all day. Yep. They're undergoing the, the restoration of the uh, vertical log house. I was interested in, was it yesterday? Mm -hmm. I just couldn't go. Get the doors open, one there. Okay. I have three crazy kids. <laughs> <laughs> And if anybody has any information on the home or those who have lived there, um, they would welcome any kind of information they can give them. They're also historic researchers. Historical researchers. So are you moving to the community? You lived here before. They moved back. Cool. They went and tried all those other places. There's no <laughs> place like St. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I came back too. <laughs> All right. Well, uh, well since call him real fast? if you if you'd like to, just so That's we don't want. I say we call him. I mean, doesn't he? Let's call him. I agree because we're we're 15 minutes after. I guess we can wait another minute or two. If you can't make it, I'd be happy to come back for a special meeting. 
Not tonight. No. Yeah, right. <laughs> Okay, well, I guess we'll, then we'll have to just then postpone that for another day. Did the system do the check? Do it brief, what does that say? I don't know, but I mean, it seems like he would have his own new number on it. But that was from the last one, it was asked us from. When you call that number, what happened? Okay. This just one? Just recorded? It went immediately to uh, this one. Okay. Uh, Yes, okay. All right. Well, then, is there a motion to adjourn? Make a motion. To motion. Is there a second? Um, I yeah. I just wanted to say I agree with Jan. I'll try to come back if I can. Uh, I'd be available. Yeah. We're calls. Okay. All right. Well, all in favor of adjourning? Aye. 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 Any opposed? We are adjourned. I second.